What's good YouTube? It's your boy KP the Goat and I'm back again with another video. So a lot of you guys requested um uh, updated my list especially off the, after that scat pack video a lot of y'all wanted to know the updated mod list and everything that's got i got dealing with this car and you know here goes the walk around basically telling y'all my mod list and telling y'all everything i got done with this car so if you want to stick around go ahead and do that but um if you're new here make sure you hit that subscribe button and hit the like that like button as well it helps us out with the youtube algorithm so yeah go ahead and sit back learn about the g37 and how it gaps the fucking scats and all the other cars um you're going to be seeing on the channel and uh yeah let's get into it all right what's good youtube it's your boy kb to go y'all already know how i get down no cap but uh i know there's a lot of y'all that want to know how i do the camera trick with the infinities and everything um so basically you have to turn the audio off by pressing the volume button and then you go to settings and twist the knob up. Just keep twisting up and hold settings at the same time. And then it'll go to this screen right here. And then you go self-diagnosis. Oh shit, never mind. No, you don't. You go to confirmation and adjustments, display. Oh shit, no, you don't. Fuck. <laughs> I'm gonna redo this. <laughs> so you turn the audio off. And then you um, hold settings at the same time while twisting up, twisting the volume button up. And then after you get to that one, you go to confirmation and adjustments, go down to camera content, press that, adjustment guidelines, and then there you go. The camera trick on the Infinity G37s. But anyways, with that being said, man, let's get into some flame map. what's good y'all so this is my 2013 infinity g37 and all of you guys wanted an updated mod list of what i got going on to this car and sadly to say no it is not spinning flames just being stock i know i have it on stock wheels and everything but that soon is going to change um i'm gonna move it over here in the uh light real quick so y'all can better see it hold on give me a second so yeah guys this is my 2013 infinity g37 sedan and um okay so let's start with the intakes so this car is basically really it really is stock to be honest um it has the three inch rzg um long tube intakes and these things uh these things cost me around 600 700 dollars i really can't remember but somewhere around that price range and you cannot get three inch intakes guys without a tune you need you must need a tune in order to run these so um i had them installed on the day of the tune uh i got dyno tuned by rs anthropy um i got a sticker right here just in case you guys want to hit them up uh, right so guys, just in case you want to hit him up, here goes his information right here. You can follow him on Instagram. He contact him on just like that. Um, so it's on stock wheels for right now. I'm planning on getting wheels very soon. Um, I don't know what wheels to go with, and it is lowered on 
Lowering Springs um, Ebok Slowing Springs. I paid two hundred dollars for those. I bought them off of a friend. Um, subscribe to my YouTube channel, KP the Goat, just in case um, you guys didn't know that. Um, also, um, it has ISR long, ISR single exit exhaust, full exhaust, um, custom welded to fit a sedan. It has ISR test pipes, and it's. And I also have uh, ISR long tube headers, but they're not yet installed. I repeat, it is not yet re installed. I will be installing those on my retune when I go E85. And um, I'm planning on, I'm not sure yet of gutting the car. I'm not sure if I want to do that yet because um, I still have passengers and stuff like that uh, in my car sometimes, you know. Uh, it's still my daily. I'm planning on getting a daily. You guys let me know what I should get. I still want to get a 350Z. So, um, you guys let me know um so i'm in my little spot right now guys as you can see and um future mods that i'm looking forward to i'm looking forward to getting um a retune as i said i'm getting by rs entropy going right back to them um i have no hate against admin you guys want to go to admin go ahead um i really don't care for you know tuning or whatever um honestly rs entropy he's cheaper i pay 700 dollars for the tune and um also admin i think he charged maybe a thousand something plus i don't know something like that and the retune is maybe 300 dollars or some shit like that for rs look at that wheel gap not much much at all um the lawrence springs doing a good deal but i'm still need to get my i still need to get my what you call it um i still need to get coilovers so you guys leave a comment down below of what wheels i should get i don't want anything vq original because everybody has the same fucking wheel setup um so please do not you know say say no uh nismos or something like that man everybody has those wheels um so give me something different okay guys and a lot of you guys want to know how the tune works and how everything works in the inside so let's get inside here cut the lights off oh so it doesn't matter if the car is on or not. Uh, like if I power that, what you call it? So it doesn't matter. And my car is has 133,000 miles on it, man. That's how you know this tune is running strong everything is still running strong completely i got the tune at uh maybe 125,000 miles so i've been doing a good deal on the tune no no problems at all um so it's doing me good guys so i'm not really been on flame app like that too much uh only time i really do it for is uh videos and stuff but um so how the tune works and going into it basically you can hold your council button right here and you see that with the RPMs? Hold on, I'm gonna show y'all again. You see that? So I'm gonna do like that, hold cancel, it goes up to one. One is just your base map. Hold it again. One is your base map. Two is your pop map. Three is your flame map. Four is anti-theft. So you can control all this with this little button right here, your uh, cruise control setting. So um, you can really go to any one of them you want to. I personally like on one um because i daily this car so i don't want to put too much work on it um i like to go on one just because you know it's not a mode or too too poppy and doing all this extra stuff so um i like to do that and uh and then another thing um i had to figure this out on my own um the tuner told me when we was uh getting dyno tuned or whatever but i forgot kind of so i had to dm him and ask him again so uh rolling anti-lag a lot of people say rolling anti-lag and stuff like that is not for you know non-turbo cars and stuff like that i don't know whatever y'all want to call this rolling anti-lag um just pausing the engine throttle or cutting off the fuel lines or whatever you guys want to call it um so basically, uh, at, I can be rolling at around uh, 5,000 RPMs, 5,000 RPMs, and I can just hold council, but it doesn't matter what map it is on. So that is the good thing about rolling anti-lag. You can run into somebody on a freeway and you can hold it at 5,000 RPMs. You have to get it. The thing that sucks with rolling anti-lag that you have to get it directly on 5,000 RPMs. And then you hold cruise control 
uh, you you actually switch cruise on. You have to switch cruise on. And once you switch that on, you hold the cancel button, and then basically it, it holds, it stutters your engine and everything, and then you press uh, the gas button, the gas, not the fucking gas button, the gas, and then it fucking takes off, just like that. Um, also, guys, uh, every tuner is different. Okay, guys, so every tuner is different, basically. Um, so with my tune, I have to be at a complete stop to switch maps. So I kind of hate that a little bit. I'm not going to lie. Um, switching maps while I, I have to stop. So what if I want to be on a freeway just rolling in somebody on my ass or something like that, and I just want to switch the flame map and just pop and give that ass a good scare or some shit. And, um, you know, you can't do that shit. Uh, that's probably the only thing that I say that I hate about it, the tune really. But I think it depending on if you have VHR, HR, or a DE motor. I think it's depending on the motor and year year of your car that you have. You might have to go with up rev or uh, EcuTech. Um, so I don't want to really go into depths of the differences between EcuTech and up rev. Um, I don't really know too much on that. But I just know it's something dealing with the years or so, so, so. If y'all know, leave that in the comments below. But um, if y'all will do, y'all will be doing me a special little play, favor, man, if you watch the ads, no cap. I had a couple of you guys um, reach out to me, man. I, I love you guys, bro, for real. Like, I can't ask for nothing better than a fan base like this, bro. Like, bro, y'all not even a fan base, bro. Y'all are supporters, bro, because honestly, Bro, like I'm venting right now, but I really fuck with y'all, bro. Like dead ass, bro. I never seen so many people that I don't know fuck with me actually, bro. So I really appreciate that. Like no cap. And it's like it's not like I have a lot of people that's watching me, but I have a lot of people that's watching me. If you get what I'm saying, um, at least a thousand people watch my videos every time I upload. So that is to me is a lot of people. And um, like every time I go somewhere, people actually see me and shit like that. So I really appreciate you guys for um reaching out to me and stuff like that like adding me on social media and you contact me and you sent you telling me that you support me and do all this type of stuff bro it means a lot to me bro like for real i really appreciate you guys so much like bro the I, i'm ranting right now but anyways let's get to the next one and also in the comments guys um leave a comment letting me know what you guys will want to see or what you want me to race or anything i know you guys want like me uh racing scat packs and cars like that um i got a lot of content coming for you guys man uh i'm supposed to be racing a 370z tuned as well he's going to be boosted soon so we can get some content on his car as well um let me know i want to race some more v8 boys so y'all holler at me i got a, actually a one guy that want to race me he's he has a v8 a super b or whatever the fuck you want to call it i don't give a fuck fuck you dude because you don't even know me in real life and i will kick your fucking ass bitch nah i'm just playing bro i'm just playing <laughs> but anyways <laughs> i'm just playing but anyways guys if y'all enjoyed the content make sure you leave a like comment and subscribe and it's your boy kimbo no, let me know. Oh, here you go. Oh, what? What? And I do not race with her in the car, guys. Just to let y'all know, I do not race with her in the car. But anyways, guys, uh, thanks for watching the video, and let's get it. <laughs>